as a bank, staff, management, such, and identified critical areas that needed support. And it was based on this that we went back to our board and informed them that uh, we have schools that have been struggling, that need the support of the bank for them to survive through this pandemic period and the aftermath. It is on that basis that we got the board to approve money for the bank to spread and support these schools in various ways. Different amounts were approved for different purposes. 95 million was approved for this particular cause. 20 million was put to the girl child and various areas that were supporting the schools in particular and students during this period. Okay, so besides this, can you give us more details on what the bank is doing? Besides donating, what else are you planning to do? Okay, further to that, as we all know, the schools were never open, so they were really tough times. And most of them really had debts or loans with the bank. So we sat down again as part of the support that the bank is going to put out here, requested our board, which also approved, and uh, we're going to reduce interest rates to schools in particular, one to two percent, depending on uh, the impact the pandemic has had on this school and also the number of students who have been able to come back in some of these schools. Some of them have gotten all their students back, but some haven't been able to get their students back for one reason or the other, maybe fees or students dropping out totally. But all of this is going to be it's assessed by our, our credit colleagues, our relationship team who decide and advise and do the different uh, interest rate reductions. How many schools are going to be given this and how much will be given? We're starting with uh, 250 schools spread equally in the regions of uh, Uganda, Central, Eastern, Northern and Western. Today we start with Central, we shall be moving to the East, Northern and end up with the West over the next two weeks or so.